Look at that. That is just adorable, isn't it? I wanna treat my baby, you know? They haven't six on it, they've pooed on it. <laughs> just think it's so cute. I feel like my baby is sage. Hello everyone. Wow, I haven't done one of these for a long time. By one of these, I mean like a proper sit down video. I feel very formal um, doing this with you because usually I just do vlogs. I have decided, as you can see from the title, to upload my very first baby haul. For those of you that are new or are just coming across this video because you are having a baby and you liked the title and thought you might want to see what it's all about, my name is Mary. I'm currently seven to eight months pregnant. I don't really understand the timelines. 32 weeks pregnant, eight weeks to go. So that, that in my head that makes me seven months pregnant, but in pregnancy timelines it makes you eight months pregnant because you're actually pregnant for 10 months, not nine, but I'm, we don't need to get into that. Anyway, I'm due early September, but for those of you that already subscribe to me, I it's, all of you have been so lovely with the support towards my content around pregnancy or me talking about pregnancy and now talking more about baby things. I wasn't really sure how interesting this would be for people, but when I asked you, everyone seemed so interested, so I thought I would definitely upload this. And as the title suggests, the haul is quite minimal in terms of like the colour scheme and the products themselves, and also sustainability. And I say sustainability, take that with a pinch of salt, because I'm not saying that I am going to be 100% sustainable in terms of all the brands that I'm shopping for. Babies, by large, are not particularly sustainable in general, just because of how much you need for them. But where I can, I like to shop independently and kind of seek out brands, but at the same time, shopping that way specifically for clothing can end up costing a lot more um, when effectively the baby is not going to be in the clothes for very long so it's kind of striking a balance between the two and um, definitely when it comes to things like toys and stuff and anything plasticky but with clothing it's a consideration however just based purely on the fact that a baby by large as i say is not very sustainable because they are constantly growing out of things just kind of weigh it up in terms of what's worth spending the money on i thought i would upload this vlog because i thought it just might be quite helpful you guys seem interested and I mean, what what the hey, why not? It's 2020, let's try something new. What have you got to lose? I do, do apologise because I get quite out of breath these days. Not a lot of space. As you can see, there we go, hiya. That bump does not leave a lot of space for breathing. So um, yeah, I can't really talk without getting out of breath, even though I'm sitting down, so that's great. When I first went shopping, I just wanted to see what, what was about. Um, I wasn't even really sure what I desperately needed, but I knew that muslins were something I would need. And these are actually very expensive muslins. I got these because they're in the sale, but they're from Mummers and Puppers, and it's a pack of three, and these are the large muslins. The large muslins are good for if you want to swaddle your baby, and that's something I would like to do. I've heard mixed things, some babies love it, some babies don't, but I definitely wanted to give it a go. So I thought if I pick up three large muslins, that's, that's gonna be good. So full price, they would have been 22. They were in the sale for 11 pounds. You get two that have got this bunny print all over them. So it's quite a nice subtle print. And then there's another one which is just adorable. And I didn't realize that this one had it on it. I thought when I bought it that it was just plain. But that says, some bunny loves you. <laughs> I don't think they'll be available now, I don't think they're on the site, but, and you definitely don't need to spend this much on muslins, but it was the first thing I bought and I thought, I just want to treat my baby, you know, give them some nice muslins. And then the second thing actually is a bit random, and <laughs> it's these dummies. I will just mention, I'm not sure how I feel about dummies, I would like to try to avoid them, but I have enough pregnant friends and family members or enough friends that have been pregnant and now have kids and family members to know that it, it's not always that easy to not give them a dummy so this could be too much attention to detail for some but this is just the way that I am and you just have to accept how you are as you get older I just kept thinking I'm gonna dress them in these really lovely outfits and then the last thing I want is like a plastic bright green dummy hanging out their mouth so I made it my mission to find <laughs> neutral colored dummies and this brand bibs does them beautifully it's like it's the ideal thing i was looking for they're also natural latex rubber natural rubber latex and this is what they look like so i just got two colors one is this 
beigey one which is called vanilla and then I got another kind of sage green one I just thought let me start off with two I know these will go with the outfits and um, we'll go from there okay let's move on to the first kind of newborn stash of things and these are from H&M I'm sure many of you that have already had babies know that H&M is great for baby things it's so well priced this is organic cotton from their conscious range such a variety of things so i went in there on the hunt for baby grows because i have been recommended their conscious collection and they come in packs of two i think you might be able to get packs of five as well but i didn't see any when i was there so i've just picked up a few packs of two these are 7.99 for two baby grows they're incredibly soft and i mean i just <laughs> look at that size of it like that is just adorable isn't it so this is naught to one month i got one pack which is short sleeved this pack of long sleeve so there's another kind of creamy white in the long sleeve and it came with a really nice gray pinstripe i just isn't that so nice and also a lot of people told me that this kimono uh, like popper button crossover style is great um that this is their preferred style of baby grow um, so that was good to hear. I just think they're really nice, but apparently they are also functional too. So that's always good to know. I got this pack um, and it was more because of the colour of this brown one. So one of them comes with little hedgehogs on it, which is very sweet. However, it was this one that drew me to it because it's just a really gorgeous, like cocoa mocha type brown colour. And I feel like this is just the colour for my baby. I don't know what it is. I see, I see well, actually it goes to my shirt. I see the baby is like, a nice taupe and a sage green <laughs> i mean whether that will be their colors who knows but i don't know what it is like i'm, I'm just re i'm particularly drawn to these colors for the baby with dressing the baby at first like from what i can tell all you really need is just a load of baby grows because if they haven't six on it they've pooed on it um you're changing them god knows how many times throughout the day so a stack of newborn baby grows is essentially the way to go so because they're so cheap I mean, just from what people have told me, get as many as you can because you'll be washing them and changing them any God knows how many times for those first few weeks, especially. So I don't, I haven't bought any particular outfit things for them when they're new, when they're new, <laughs> for what, for the first few weeks. Um, and then we can move into the exciting stuff, which is this stack of actual clothes here. And the first thing I'll talk about, again, I got this really just because it was in the sale, because I'm not sure how if they might be too young for pajamas because these are three to six months i don't know if you really put a three to six month old in pajamas but you might do but i just couldn't resist them because they were 15 pounds in the sale from the little white company which they do gorgeous like not just baby clothes everything um like play mats all that kind of stuff it's all lovely this is just a white top with some zebras like embroidered along the bottom and quite lightweight and then these are the little the little trousers and they've got elephants, zebras, giraffes, just little animals all over them. Lovely. I then did an order. Actually, this order was the first thing that I did before I bought any of... No, maybe I'd bought the muslins. But this order from Zara is actually the first thing that I ordered uh, to do with actual baby clothes. And the reason why was because it was in the sale. And I thought everything was really cute. And why not just get it? So these are basically just four pairs of trousers and a top and these are in size one to three months i wasn't sure i think i wanted to try and get them in three to six but they were all they weren't they weren't all available in three to six months because in my head i was like well for the first three months up to christmas they'll probably be in baby grows then maybe i might start dressing them in proper outfits after that and it's going to be winter but either way i think they must have not all been available so i ended up getting one to three months so at some point, maybe leading up to Christmas, I will put them in an actual outfit. But we'll just see how it goes. I mean, this is the thing. I have no idea what size the baby's going to be. It might not fit any of these for ages. It might grow out for them in two weeks. Who knows? The first one is this top, which is like a muslin gauze. And I really love this fabric. You'll see, because I have a couple of other pieces that are this fabric. Um, I just thought that was a really cute top. I have two pairs of trousers, which are the same trousers, because I just thought they were so cute. And they're basically like knitted joggers. So we have a cream pair. And I love because of their nappy how everything's like drop crotch. 
I just think it's so cute. And then the same pair in like a sage green, again, because I said, I feel like my baby is sage. <laughs> so, and with this top as well, you can do that thing where you put the outfit on your pregnant belly to make sure it looks cute on your baby. Um, but I feel like this top kind of goes with all of these trousers. This grey pair, which again are like a linen-y pair. Got a little pocket at the front to put all its little things in. <laughs> uh, and these are actually double lined, I think. So these will be quite, they've got like a jersey on the inside. So they'll be quite snug for them. And this pair, which is more like little jeans, I suppose, but they're just woven. It's just a woven fabric. And they've got little pockets on the side. <laughs> Just adorable, aren't they? Zara, Zara as a shopping experience near me for kids is awful. Like the baby section is so messy. But Zara online, I actually quite like and I found some really nice stuff. Um, I know it's not the most sustainable brand, but I think specifically their sale can be quite good. Move on to a couple of things I bought from a couple of independent stores. So when I, um, like I said about YouTube and not really being able to find people that had a similar taste, Instagram is where I've found so many mums, families that I just have become obsessed with. And hen and through them have found these, lo so many baby brands that I just absolutely love. And I found two, well I found more than that, but these things are from two different like independent boutiques that I found on Instagram that I think are based, but that are both based in the UK. And they stock very similar brands, um, but slightly different stock from each. And it was through these stores that I then found loads of different brands that I, that seem to be Australia based mainly. So there's a brand called Tiny, Tr Tiny Trove, which is where this stuff is from. Um, they also have a couple of other brands, but from what I can tell, I think they are more for older children. It seems like the smallest size in these two brands is one, uh, like one year. And they're called Field Day and also one called The Simple Folk. Although I think The Simple Folk does do baby rompers. However, they're beautiful, beautiful brands. And as I say, they're at, they are a bit pricier. So it's just down to you, whether you want to treat your little hun every now and again to something but they're sustainable brands but you do pay a little bit extra um but anyway so the first store that i went to is called river finley and friends so this i found on instagram and it so it's run by a lady called lauren and she has handwritten a note on f well i've placed two orders from her and she's handwritten a note to me saying thank you for your lovely order I just thought that was such a nice touch so the first thing I got from River Finley and Friends are these joggers and I got these in size three to six months <laughs> because I just couldn't resist and they do like jumpers that go with these tracksuit bottoms and they do them in grey, like a mushroom colour, a more like taupey brown colour and I thought they were just, they just look so comfy, I wish they did them in adult sizes, although this brand does do adult track suits that go with the baby ones just not in this fabric but if they bought this out in this fabric i would have them too but i just thought they looked so comfy and so i mean they're just so nice aren't they and um, so that was the first order i made with them i just kind of wanted to see what the quality of the brand was like because finding brands on instagram can be a bit hit and miss and then i also more recently i actually got this this week then bought this top as well and this one i also got in three to six months i actually think I would put the, possibly put them in this before three to six months. I think if this was oversized, this would still look cute as well. Um, and it's got these really nice buttons on the back. But again, it's that kind of linen, muslin fabric. So yeah, great shopping experience with them. Delivery was super quick. I think I ordered it and it came about two days later. And then the next thing I've got, which is also from Tiny Trove, is from another independent online store called Indie Coco. And I, all found them about the same time that I found River Finley and Friends so I look at both of those but this was in the sale and I actually bought this for next year because this is size 6 to 12 months so I thought for next summer this will be perfect and because it was in the sale and I knew that I loved it I thought I may as well just get it now um, but it's a little romper suit <laughs> it looks a lot warmer in colour there but it's just basically like a chocolate brown shade and again it's got the buttons on the back and then the poppers around here so you can change the little nappy um, and then it's elasticated and i just thought that for next summer will be perfect 
I think that brings us to the end of my first baby haul. Hope that you guys enjoyed that. Probably will do more kind of baby specific content if you guys want me to. We've just got our buggy and we are also having the cot delivered soon as well. So I do plan to do a video on the big kind of baby things that we're buying. But if you are interested in me doing more things like this as I accumulate more clothes, yeah, if that's of interest to you, then let me know and I'll keep doing them as and when. Yeah, if you are new to me through this video, thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up as well so that I know that you enjoyed it. And if you are old, thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well because I have been posting about like my pregnancy style on there um, and I also do sometimes put on when I've bought new clothes and where they're from. So if you want to see it before I put a video up then that's the place to be. I hope that wherever you are in the world you are safe and you are well and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.